on and take. Down four nothing. How did you turn the tables on him? Um, we knew coming in that guy had a lot of firepower and he liked to score, uh, but we also knew that I could wrestle a hell of a pace and I live for those deep water situations. So that was how we drew it up. You look like you had a lot of patience, just kind of chipping away even when you're down 4-0, not necessarily trying to get four back at a time. Was that kind of the thought process there? Yeah, I've gotten in trouble there in the past where it becomes a live by the sword, die by the sword kind of thing. As I've gotten older, I've learned to get it one point at a time, and that stuff will pile on, as you guys saw. Tactically, to me it was interesting. Were you intentionally avoiding being underneath him to avoid that chest lock scenario, or was it just more getting heavy on I his head? I don't avoid going anywhere with anybody. I wrestle where I want to wrestle. So did, right, but, so there's a big difference. Okay, of, did you not want to wrestle there? Right? I wanted to wrestle where I wanted to wrestle. Okay. Why would I wrestle in a guy, you know, I'm not gonna go where a guy wants to go, I'm gonna go where I want him to go. Did you feel like you took a little bit of uh, the starch out of him when you hit that throw out of bounds? You... Um, I think it was before that. I don't think, you know, I think it was progressive as the match went on and that opened up that throw that I didn't even get four for. Right. Because um, he's good there. You know, he's an athletic, strong guy. And uh, that's where what I talked about being a little more of a veteran, being around the block a little bit, knowing it doesn't have to come right away. What was it like wrestling in front of that atmosphere? The crowd really got behind you. I love it, man. It's uh, it's why I came to Iowa in the first place, and it's why I'm still around here. So, I love these fans, and I love this kind of thing. Wrestling needs more of it, and that's what I hope this event does. And having a chance to make a little bit of money too, and some prize money. What's that like for you guys? For for me, the money is more of a uh, it's a stepping stone for hopefully younger generations, where this is uh, you know it's AWL the beginning. Hopefully, it's the beginning. And these guys, these young guys, Spencer Lees and all these studs can make millions like an NFL player eventually. What's some of the other goals you're working towards down the road? Uh, there's this big tournament every year. It's the World Championships. Yep. Yep. There's that one. And then every four years they have an Olympics. <laughs> I would love to win those. Absolutely. Been my dream since I was a little kid, so I'm going to go after that. What's next for you between now and then, obviously? Um, we'll see with what the schedule brings for international tournaments, but get a couple tournaments under my belt, wrestle with good guys. You know, the plans stay the course. It is what it always is. Get better. Really well done tonight, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Mark Perry.